Hi, I'm Jonathan Caroli, Charleston, the Los Angeles Philharmonic. In this video, I'd like to briefly explore the ideas behind different fingering choices and how to go about choosing which fingerings to use. I think one of the big benefits of having a relaxed left arm and vibrato is that we can choose any number of different fingering combinations. It gives us the freedom to not be quite so limited and to get stuck in the fingerings that we choose. Because I think too often we cellists can get kind of uh, uh, really just stuck and feel what's comfortable. Certain fingerings feel comfortable and we kind of keep repeating them. And I really think that what we choose as far as fingerings should uh, serve the music and not just the convenience. So as an example, I'm gonna take this slow movement from the Dvorak American Quartet, the uh, passage that the cello has. Um, and when playing this, I wanna think about a couple different things. Um, to, to determine what fingerings to use, I wanna think about certain things like uh, which intervals do I want to point out? Um, what shifts do I want to hear? What is an expressive interval? Um, what colors do we want to make? Do, does the passage repeat? And if so, how often? And when it comes back, does, what is, how has is the instrumentation changed? What's going on around us? Have the dynamics changed? And there's any number of things that we need to consider when we try to come up with some of our fingerings. So, this passion, it goes like this. So let's suppose I want a version like that on the A string. Um, perhaps it's a very serene, calm, bleak kind of melody. Um, maybe we want something very simple. Without shifts that we hear. Now, of course, this tune comes back several times in different ways. So maybe we want it more expressive, pointing out some of the shifts. Some of those shifts we can do with any number of fingerings. One, two, four, 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 depending on what where we are. Two, two. Okay, now so we've done some on the A string in a couple different ways. Now let's try adding the D string onto this for a bit. But going back to the A string. Okay, let's suppose we want a version that crosses over to the D string and stays there to have a different color. So there's any number of choices that we could choose. Um, of course, when we perform it, we only got one go at it, so that's too bad. But um, I think in practicing, it helps us greatly if we have the freedom and flexibility to play around with these fingerings a lot. I think it really changes uh, how we approach the instrument and we become comfortable in many different ways um, uh, using different combinations. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more helpful tips, please do check out my YouTube channel. Um, you can also visit my website for a little bit more information about me. Thanks so much.